Hello and welcome to another Cabots tutorial. Today we don't want to do something more visual and more practical. And uh, there was a request under a YouTube video on the Kopfsache by Holon. It's a little demo, a graphical demo. And it's mostly based on one effect. And uh, YouTube user asked, uh, does this use custom shader code or standard operators? And I want to show how this is built with the current uh, standard operator. So this is the effect we are talking about. Basically, um, pretty cool stuff. And you see, uh, it doesn't have that many operators. And now with the new operators from the last update, it can be even done with less operators. Um, so yeah, let's try to rebuild this. Um, so let me close those tabs. And let me create uh, a new um, patch. And then we start from zero, a new main loop. And then first of all, let's um, load this face mesh. So this is called head GLB in the, in the standard library uh, from cables. So there we have it. Um, let's put some material onto it. There you see it. And um, so this is our mesh basically. And this is just rendered with the PBR material. So you see it has a soft shading, but we want something different from this. We want the coordinates of each pixel. So for this, we will use uh, render to textures operator again, like in the last tutorial. And um, we set up rendering to two textures and the second one we will render position world. So let's have a look at this. Um, you see it looks weird in the second slot and in the first slot it's the, the smooth shaded PBR material again. So what are we seeing here? So what we see here is each pixel, the RGB colors of each pixel are the XYZ colors, um, XYZ position in the world, because I selected position world. And, and we can now use those positions to draw, for example, spheres or cubes uh, into a new scene, basically. So, uh, but this is a really high resolution right now. So let's just, uh, turn it down, for example, 128 by 128. And um, we will create a sequence and a mesh instance of from texture. So we use this texture, this data of this texture in uh, with a mesh instance um, by just connecting this texture to the position texture here. And then we need to create a geometry for this to use. So we will just use a sphere geometry. And there you see it already. So if we turn, uh, resize this texture quite small, um, you see we have a, uh, the, the, uh, the mesh now consists, is rendered with little spheres. Um, so I can, you see when I, scale the sphere, the whole, the whole thing uh, scales. So let me create maybe a lower resolution, uh, 64 uh, by 64 for now. And let's just use this resolution. So there you see, we have 64 spheres by 64 spheres. Okay, so Basically, this is the main trick. So the, the interesting thing now is, let's also use another material here. Um, so we can see that this is really spheres. Um, now we can use an uh, orbit control and then we can rotate around the sphere. So we see it's really weird and glitched because we don't see it from the side because this this view here is not influenced by the orbit controls. This view is 
always from the front so we always have only the positions from the front it's basically like a kinect uh, if you used the kinect before it's you have this point cloud uh, because the texture is 2d uh, it will always be 2d but that's that's the effect that we are after or this is the effect that the demo uses so we can add a transform to the to the original rendering of the head and just play with this and then you see you get some really cool cool effects also it's also interesting to change the resolution that it's uh high risk on in one axis and pretty low risk on the other axis and then you get interesting effects um, like this um, but let's keep it 64 by 64 and let's just add a sign with the timer and yeah let's just have a little rotation animation um like this so there's some movement um yeah so um this is basically the main effect and if you if you rotate this you can see it from different angles but there's also interesting stuff if you put the orbit controls into the source and this is what we saw before uh, it gets really weird and you, you don't know what's happening but it's basically just we're changing the position of this thing but the the camera of, of the of this rendering and the other camera is static so you get some really really cool effects um, so the demo is basically just exploring this one thing with different meshes and and different uh, scenes and different transformations so let's move the camera or let's move the object or uh, yeah there's a there's a lot of stuff that you can do to get different different uh, effects out of this um, what's also pretty cool is you can, for example, uh, not use a sphere but a cube and um, then resize the cube so um, it's pretty small. You can also calculate this if you want, but let's just do it by uh, looking at it. And let me put the orbit controls back here so I have a bit more control. And then you see you basically have like a, a voxelized rendering of the of the face so you can create like minecraft worlds or, or something like this um, so yeah you can also add a light to to light this but you can also use this texture um, as a color information so because this is already shaded so we can connect this texture to the color texture and then you see the cubes are like colorized uh, with the shading from the source so um, if you add another point light here then you can relight it or like multiply this light again with another thing and and that's pretty also pretty uh, powerful so um, you can also do different stuff so you can also add another uh, target and set this target to normal so this will, let's have a look at it again, uh, the third one. So this uh, outputs the normal of the mesh into this color buffer. So we can use this as a color just to look at it. Um, and there you see, um, the, see the normals of the mesh uh, in the as a color, which is also pretty powerful. You can remap those colors with texture effects and, and do some uh, a really cool colorization out of it but you can also use this texture uh, as a rotation texture so this controls the rotation of each cube and um, so this looks really chaotic but also pretty cool but you can switch the rotation for the mesh instance uh, from Euler to normal and then you see the cubes are rotated in parallel to the mesh so Let's turn off the animation for a second. Um, and we can make the cube a bit bigger. 
and then you see the cube is following basically the shape the curvature of the of the face uh, which is also pretty cool so here you can see it um yeah this this is also pretty powerful and can do really cool stuff with it so um you can also scale it uh, uh by the normal or something it doesn't really make sense but you can get really interesting uh, effects out of this so um <clears throat> pretty pretty cool stuff and you can always also just uh, modify those textures that you're using uh, to drive the mesh instance so we can uh we can add a image compose in between so let's create an image compose don't forget to set this to 32 bits and uh, use this as a position texture for example so i will just wrote this through this image compose so nothing changed now but i can add something on top for example um, uh, layer noise um, so so now i'm adding it 100 percent, so it doesn't really make sense so let's switch it let's turn down the amount to zero and then you see the face again so if you switch this to blend mode add then this value from the noise is added on top of the face so um, you see we are changing the face now and you can uh, change it to rgba mode and then you get also pretty pretty cool effects um, from this um, and yeah so you can animate this for example with the timer again add it to scroll z for example and then you see you have a wobbling a wobbling face so you can adjust this uh, those values and then you have a nice smooth wobbling animation on top of it for example and you can do this with everything here so you could uh, use this as scaling for the cubes or like animate the rotation so it's constantly rotating or whatever stuff so um yeah there's a lot of possibilities and it's all super easy now with the uh, new render to textures operator so yeah have fun and play with it bye bye